and I would not go to Mariposa without stopping at the River Rock Cafe. Let's bring in Vicki Lorenzi. How's it going? Really great. Thank nice you. Nice to see you. Nice now, to meet you. I, 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 um, I was telling Billy before you came on, I know exactly where this place is because that street right there has a couple of my favorite Mariposa businesses, the Quarter Note. Yes. And the brewery. The brewery. Prospector's Brewery. And then you right there, right, right on the same little street. As the Lonely Planet calls me, an oasis of charm. Awesome. Now, how long have you been there at the River Rock? Because the River Rock's been there a lot longer than you. Yes, it's been a, a motel since 1941. Wow. And I took it over 10 years ago and uh, refurbished it all and then took the office and the uh, manager's room and turned it into a cafe. And awesome. we've been there now. Well, now. Now, did you grow up in Mariposa? No, I'm from down in the valley of Good Old Merced. Okay, so you, you, you lived in Merced. And did you find out that the River Rock was available and then moved to Mariposa? How did, how did this all come together? No, we moved to uh, Mariposa. And uh, I saw this beautiful place that I said that needs some love and attention. It's a quaint little place. It is it, quaint. Yeah. It's very, you know, bohemian or whatever you want to call it. People have called it many things. But what it is that is That means comfort. don't shave the pits. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Now, how many rooms are at the River Rock? There are seven rooms, three suites, and four standard rooms. And uh, you guys are probably packed all the time. We have a good turnout. We, we're really written up in all the books around the world, travel books. And Lonely Planet is my favorite one because they highly recommend us to, in, in, to stay in Mariposa. So it's really great. And Yelp and Yelp has named us number one. So far, we're number one for in and food. Nothing so wrong with that. Nothing wrong with now, that. When you were in Merced, were, were you in the hospitality business? I was before my children were born. I had a catering business where I was honored to cater the governor at that time, Dumasian. Uh, my business was really a strong catering business with a little cafe, but it was destroyed in a fire in the old McNamara's building, which many people in remember. downtown Merced. In downtown Merced, yes. And then I retired. I became a domestic engineer for a while. <laughs> a domestic then, engineer. Yes, and then I became bored. With all that, uh, you know, I needed my creative side to come out again, and I saw this m old motel, and I put life into it. Did you do a lot of the work yourself? My poor children and myself <laughs> and very good friends and their father, we did a lot of sweat because the majority of things were held up by t scotch tape, you know, and the rugs were all curled up, and we had to tear everything out, paint it. How long did it take you? It took a good six months, mm -hmm. you know, without too much and a lot of good construction people too so now it's a really great little place nestled in this town in the Yosemite mountains behind Yosemite we're just a great little establishment in this wonderful town of Mariposa it, 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 it is a wonderful little town yeah and you and I were talking on the commercial break about your town and to me it's the kind of feeling that you only get in like little midwestern towns, you know. I can't. I I've been in a, a establishment somewhere, and someone tells me, "When you're finished here, you need to go see so and so down the street at another establishment." It's just you just don't don't see it much anymore. No, no, we are really highly recommended in a lot of the like I say travel bags to stop in books to stop in Mariposa because we are a quaint little town. We're small, but we're great. And what we're doing now is we're going to be having Friday Night Live to celebrate the locals, you know, even if from down here in the valley to come on up and enjoy our little town it's where important. all our businesses will be open for you with special events going on. We'll even have our trolley car going up and down uh, Main Street if you want to jump on just for the old Fun sake. Just take a little cruise. Take a little and that, cruise. And that, that trolley, on the weekends, you can take it around to some of the historical sites yes, also. Yes, yes. Well, we have walking maps now, too, of Mariposa. So if you want to, we have them distributed among all the businesses where you can pick one up. And there's some great hikes, some really strenuous ones, too, uh, that are in the back of Mariposa in the hills. So 
there's a lot to do there. Do you do them? Do you go back in the hills? I have. I certainly have. I've seen a keen snake eating another snake. One yeah, time no, on. thanks. That's the <laughs> kind of adventure you get to go on, you know, uh, when you travel around. Did in you, the now, when you and saw that snake eating the other snake, did you stand there and watch it? Yeah, for a while. You have to. It's intriguing. It's, you know, it's nature. It's did this, Do you think the snake knew you were there? No, he was too enjoying his uh, food, which, <laughs> which, speaking of enjoying good food, you can find everywhere in Mariposa. I don't know. <laughs> that was the craziest segue ever. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> I, I think Mariposa has some of the finest restaurants and establishments, and, and we're just nothing but a fun town that you can walk wherever you want, and there's nothing but a good time going on with good food. I mean, if you just come f one up on a Friday night once a month and discover a new place in Mariposa, we have, may I name a few? Well, you can, but I'm, I'm kind of wondering what's the specialty over at River Rock Cafe? Every day we create specialties, like our one of our favorite latest one is like a basil pesto with chicken, barbecue chicken, pear, and mushroom brie heated up in the oven. It is so delicious. It sounds good. It's so good. We create something different all the time. And, of course, all our uh, sandwiches and everything are known worldwide. And we also have specials of salmons, baby back ribs. We do uh, a variety of different kinds of specials all the time. That, that well, have tasty in, in, in true Mariposa fashion, you can't wait to talk about some of the other businesses in Mariposa. And you have a list of them here. Oh, uh, yes. I just want to make sure that I, uh, you know, when you, you get the nomination that you or win the award, you mention everybody that has supported you because this is what Mariposa does. We support one another. We send them along their way to go around because um, when we do these walks, it's going to start from one town, end of town, like where Donuts A Go-Go are and the chocolate soup. And then you travel on up and there's the art part where we have great music going on Friday and Saturday nights during summertime, or bring your own picnic and enjoy it in our wonderful park. Where Mariposa, it's right across the street from Mariposa um, Arts Council is, right. that my son has some of his works in. So oh, well, you all have to I'll stop in. He's a glass blower, so you have to go and check him out. But also we have um, some delicious, I know Go Coin is always on here, but that is a historical place. It's a that, historical place, and they have some great food there, Yes, too. they do. Every Try place. their veggie burger. Yeah, every right. place in Mariposa has great food. And we have savories that has a cheek atmosphere with savory flavors or Charles Street, where we have this young chef. I'm telling you, you need to come experience what this young man does. He's. Have you eaten there? I've been all over Mariposa, and I plan on getting all over it this weekend. Yeah, also. or or you might like Sugar Pine. That is like a, a diner. You know, brings you back to the good old days. And then, of course, we have our Prospector and Sierra Wine Cells, and we have the Alley that has great beers. In fact, tomorrow night they're doing a. Um, what is it called? It's called a uh, tap over at, with uh, Lagunitas. Okay, so, so the, we're, it's we're a ta tap takeover. Take ta tap right. takeover. Tap yeah. takeover. Yes, yes. So we got or great a tap over. Yeah, tap over, whatever you want. Right. And we got a great new little restaurant called uh, uh, Sunset Sierra. Uh, Bakery, have you been there? Not a yet. cafe. She's her breakfast burritos are just knocking people out of their socks. Well, that's what I need. And the 1850 <laughs> is a great establishment to go and eat. Their flavors are really tantalizing, also. So, you know, and not to mention that you have Yosemite and Merced River, all those yes. great things. All oh, and I forgot our health food store. It's expanded and it's wonderful. That's where the trolley car will take you up to, right. or the Roadhouse 150. Oh, what a beautiful or miners, place! Or, or, no, it's or, called or, uh, Roadhouse go 140. Go to any of those right. places and have a good time. It's called Roadhouse 140. Now. I think it's called Roadhouse 140. Uh, yes, now. yes, okay. yes. And, and, that, and that's where you go karaoke, in, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. What's your song? Uh, I don't have a song yet. I'll have to think of one. But don't little forget little the hideout courage, saloon. Don't forget uh, the hideout saloon where we have our famous trespassers. He has a saloon down below that's so unique that people need to experience. My seven-year-old loves it. All right, seven we're going to have a saloon. <laughs> Vicky, thank you very much from the River Rock Inn and Cafe on Seventh Street in Mariposa. Go pay them a visit.